slap and steppage gate. Here you can see an example of the normal walking gate. A slap gate has a characteristic slap of the foot during a walking pattern. So what causes slap gate? Slap gate occurs due to weakness of the foot and ankle dorsiflexors, which allows the foot to slap down on the floor with each step. Slap gait is a heel gait abnormality that can be diagnosed by hearing the patient walk. With a normal walking gait, the heel strikes the ground first followed by controlled relaxation of the foot and ankle dorsiflexors in order to allow the forefoot to come in contact with the ground. Slap gait occurs due to weakness of the foot and ankle dorsiflexors. Foot drop gait, or steppage gait, is due to total paralysis of the ankle and foot dorsiflexors. What is steppage gait? Steppage gait is sometimes referred to as foot drop gait, or neuropathic gait. A common symptom of foot drop is a high steppage gait that is often characterized by raising the thigh up in an exaggerated fashion while walking. The patient will have difficulty in clearing the toes during the swing phase. The patient must externally rotate the leg or flex the hip or knee to raise the foot high enough to avoid dragging the toes along the ground. The leg is brought up high enough off the ground flexing the ipsilateral hip and knee so that the toes will not drag on the ground during the swing phase. Steppage gait is due to complete paralysis of the foot and ankle dorsiflexors. If the patient has foot drop, then they have to have a high steppage gait or else they will trip on the foot and fall forward. The ankle and foot dorsiflexors are supplied by the perineal nerve, which is part of the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve starts in the lower back and runs through the buttock and lower limb. In the lower thigh, just above the back of the knee, the sciatic nerve divides into two nerves, the tibial and perineal nerves, which innervate different parts of the lower leg. The common perineal nerve then travels anterior around the fibular neck, dividing into superficial and deep perineal nerves. The deep perineal nerve gives innervation to the tibialis anterior muscle of the lower leg, which is responsible for dorsal flexion of the ankle. Here you can see an example of dorsal flexion of the ankle. Conditions that cause foot drop. L4, L5 disc herniation. A herniated disc compressing the L5 nerve root may cause foot drop. A lumbosacral plexus injury may cause foot drop. Foot drop may also be caused by a sciatic nerve injury. The common perineal division of the sciatic nerve is commonly injured during fracture dislocation injuries involving the hip. It may also occur due to knee dislocation. In the event of a knee dislocation, it is important to check for common perineal nerve and popliteal artery injury. Established compartment syndrome. Foot drop is a late finding. Ischemia more than 6 to 8 hours may cause irreversible changes to the muscles. Fasciotomy should be done early. 4 hours of ischemia may be tolerated, but by 8 hours, the damage is often irreversible. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.